like I find that you can eat such good food takeout wise like for so cheap that like to buy all the ingredients and like let's say I want like a, fi a, a nice fish dinner you know like to buy all the ingredients to make it and to not even be able to come close to tasting like how you could get it at the restaurant there's just no point like I just I don't know I just find that like groceries are like more expensive than eating out here sometimes so um hi Chantel 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 hi foodie sounds like we're going to have a takeout mukbang oh my goodness absolutely and that's what we're going to be looking at today because as predicted in the live stream i had just a few days ago of which 97 percent of the audience said she'd be back to a mukbang she is she has a big piece of bread uh, she's trying to show us that she has adequate portion sizes, but in reality, we know she's going to eat a lot more off camera. So to hell with diabetes type two, I guess, I guess the medications are holding up everything. So anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know, this is Ray, this is Life and Vibe, and this is initially going out as a members exclusive for the best vibes tier level and then after it will be released to the general public so i just want to thank those members for their continued support of the channel and let me just make sure i get my disclaimers out real quick because we are going to look at foodies most recent mukbang the best food in kuwait so we're going to look at that uh, obviously just a disclaimer that even though I am a licensed registered nurse here in the United States and currently back to grad school studying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I am not treating or diagnosing anybody in this video. And this is only my opinion and my opinion only and is for education and really entertainment purposes only. So just want to make sure that people know I'm not treating or diagnosing foodie at all. And then just make sure everybody is taking care of their mental health. Foodie gets uh, all types of things um, in her content that she does not trigger warning. So as I always say, make sure you're taking care of you. So yeah, let's get over. Let's start sharing this screen here. Uh, it is the best food in Kuwait. It is called the um, Jarosh Ash and Bukhari. I'm hoping I have not completely uh, destroyed that pronunciation. I am going to speed her up to 1.25 just to get this a little bit quicker done. Um, I have kind of taken a little bit of a peek see to see kind of what the content is about. Um, so yeah, here we are, and um, let's just get going here, shall we? I'm sorry, everybody. I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat there. My goodness. Okay, take it away, foodie. <laughs> well, hello there. Uh, Did you know that you can request a private video from me made just for you that you can keep forever and ever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday. Okay, no. You know what, girl? You know what? There's only one thing that can be said about that, and that has to be said by our friend, Judge Mathis. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, that's what happens every time we see those cameos, foodie. It's just some dry bagging. Okay. This <laughs> is like this is West Our Place, okay. I guess this is a lot of filming because Phoebe don't leave the house. Wow, look at the size of his hands, man. Okay. Let's 
look, there's a KFC across the way. It's like rice. Like a ton of rice, man. Look at all that rice. Oh my lord for that rice. A big old oh it's the chicken. <laughs> oh, is that the one with it's the sorry my eyes are all that coffin. Oh my goodness. Hello guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So today I have um, a video um, going into more detail on these foods, these new foods I've tried not that long ago, maybe last week. And um, I've fallen in love with them ever since. They're so delicious. And uh, I know a lot of you from the West watching me probably have never heard of this. So where's that big old piece of chicken and rice that was uh, being served in the restaurant. Where's that? I, this, I saw the lentils being served. And of course, she's got a big old piece of bread here. Oh, goodness, girl. Why you got a big old piece of bread? Uh, I mean, nobody's going to believe you're going to eat a portion like this. You're not eating that chicken or any of that rice. I have never heard of this before. If you have, um, you know, if you're from the regions that uh, makes this wonderful food and you know what it is, please feel free to comment. Um, but as you saw in the opening there, um, this is um, Jarish. This is Jarish. And the, this here is called Ash. And this is some wheat bread. Like they make it fresh every day, all the time. So basically, as you saw, I wanted to show you guys. I told Salah to film for me uh, when he ran in okay. to get the food. They have these big um, vats and they cook this these foods inside for a long time. And then they serve it up. Um, that's traditionally how they do it. And um, sometimes they also cook them in like these big clay pots. Um, so yeah, so Jerish, in case you're wondering, is a cracked wheat. It's Jerish just means cracked wheat, like wheat. Oh. And it's wheat in its whole form, so it's not stripped. It's full of fiber and phytonutrients. It's a staple um, Kuwaiti dish. And it's um, there's also, in other countries, it's made in other countries, like in Saudi Arabia. But mm, wheat? Uh, would that not be a carb? Sorry, if you can hear the jets, they are really coming in fast. It started raining out of nowhere here in Virginia Beach, and they are coming in quick to the uh, naval base. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little bit hectic above my head. Um, doesn't that consist of carb? Is that like a, a sort of a gluten type dish? I know that there's like wheat that's like gluten that they make sort of like almost fake meat out of if you may uh, is that something sort of similar oh, i'm interested um i can't believe that she would be satisfied with just these portions though i think she would want more to eat wow the jets are loud but it's uh it's basically wow. like a savory porridge um yes you can have savory porridge it doesn't have to be sweet but it's made with um cracked or crushed wheat in its whole form so it has the whole wheat germ and everything and uh arabic spices tomato and this is made with chicken so you can see little chunks of chicken in there okay and um it's it's just it's so delicious and savory okay. and yummy and That's i love why. it so this is like a persian okay. dish and it's made with beans chickpeas lentils um onions spices a bunch of herbs and there's spinach a lot of spinach in there i love it I'm thinking if you're having the chickpea, you don't need the bread because you've already done have carbohydrates. And the chickpeas probably already hit you, you know, whatever your doctor would allow. Surprisingly, because she has such enormous plates, this portion of food looks, you know, minute. But it's actually probably not a terrible size. But I'm surprised she doesn't have a bunch of that rice that they were popping with that chicken. Because that's like her favorite thing to have. So I'm surprised this is what we're seeing. And uh, we'll see. <laughs> and of course, I have some pickles. You know, <laughs> so I'm just obviously, when the difficulty is, is when you have food coming from a restaurant, 
You never know how much salt's being used. You really don't know what's been added. This is just, in my opinion and my opinion only, not a surprise. It's a slippery slope for Miss Foodie Beauty. She is going to be, you know, already buying an enormous amount of snack food, uh, salty pickles, and things she should not really be consuming as she's trying to manage supposedly much better her type 2 diabetes. She's been showing a little bit of exercise, but then now she is kind of having very little willpower in preparing her own meals and not wanting to have them be more controlled from home. She rationalized even in the last little clip we saw why taking um, or eating takeout meals is so much better because they are less expensive. They are, you know, less for her to have to obviously prepare, less to cook. They have more ingredients. Therefore, it makes more sense that she should eat the takeout. The meals taste better. Well, yeah, because they probably use a ton of salt, girl. I mean, <laughs> there's just all sorts of rationalization that she used in order to start to say that, you know, yeah, it's good that I get groceries, uh, but, you know, I don't really cook. I mean, all of these different videos had things about her being a Kuwait housewife who does not cook, and that would be her grocery haul. So it's like, you know, I'm not someone who cooks, so I'm going to get these types of food for a non-cooking person. She got, you know, initially in trouble when she had the sub from the uh, sub shop and it had cheese in it. And it was like, that was it. That was the little, you know, that was the fall off the wagon. And I think in a live that I had with Cheekbones recently, we had kind of predicted that, she would be stopping to get a fast food meal anytime she left the house. It's one of her rewards. She obviously somehow did not want to eat one of her healthy broccoli, whatever meals, and persuaded Salah to get her a cheesy uh, sub sandwich, probably two, two sub sandwiches. That's usually her go-to. And she then... That was it. She ended up with a snack binge grocery haul, a desire to sit and watch uh, long amounts of television, and now uh, is showing food mukbangs, which she said she swore that she would not be doing mukbangs. But this is a mukbang, girl. I don't care what way you want to dress it. It's a mukbang. The jets are terrible if you can hear them. I apologize. Lord of my life. I'm going to eat a little bit with you guys to show you. Here but, is on. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, one of my new favorite. Mm, look at all that bread. That piece a couple of bread is and enormous. For one the size of that thing. <laughs> Sorry. So you eat it with bread like that? I don't mean to talk over her. But do you see the size of that bread when she opened it? It's enormous. Oh. Uh. She does not need all that bread. She just does not. Girl, you needed none of it. Bismillah. Gosh, and she's eating off the fingers. Just napkin. Napkin, please. And they cook it for so long until it becomes like a creamy a texture. Oh, my goodness. Oh, girl. You're back in your ways. Ugh. She'll be rolling her eyes back of the head soon. Uh, diabetes type 2 who are you just Not bread and chickpeas now, traditionally Great. Ash has Persian style noodles don't mean to it's laugh so people hate it when I start to laugh I'm sorry I don't mean to laugh but I'm kind of just feel frustrated a little bit irritated because she's oh that's a perfect face for you Chantel just enjoying and savoring the breaking of any healthy food because you have no control with the amount of salt and just just the effects and all of these carbs and the pickles are there on the side and that huge enormous piece of bread that's like the size of a bed sheet 
I cannot believe that you are eating this. Your medications, this is not the diet. You need to be on a Mediterranean style, style, sorry, diet. Oh, that piece of bread is huge, huge. It's, a, it's enormous, it's thick as well. This face, like, oh God, the carbs. This is the face of having an issue with your diet and how you manage it. And this is what got you unwell in the first place. And two days of your James Fonda prime time is not going to fix this. Mm. Mm. It's just such a healthy, delicious comfort food. No, 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 no. That's just where you are mixing your just your language girl because you're using healthy comfort food and you know for you and for anybody comfort food is probably something that's a little bit more hearty and filling and is generally feel good and probably not very healthy <laughs> most people wouldn't say that their comfort food is broccoli I mean, not generally, but they may say that their comfort food is macaroni and cheese. Oh, pickles is probably yours. You were hugging those pickles yesterday, girl. It's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen is you hugging a jar of pickles. Those pickles are going to take you out. Pickle for. <laughs> oh. I cannot believe these jets fly over my head, of course. Right when I still Water. It's classic. People say they can't hear them. I'm glad because it's wild how loud they are. <clears throat> now this meal will keep you full. That's what you put in? Is it's it a long long It's full of protein, protein, healthy fibers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I wish your napkin, girl. I hope it's on your lap. I hope you're not wiping on your clothes. I love how Please unprocessed the food is. How do you know? Those pickles are processed. Uh, she's just assuming like it's made in the restaurant. It's homemade. It's good for me. Uh, it's like you don't have the control over how much soul or other types of ingredients that may be added that are not beneficial to your health. And you talked about wheat being added. I'm thinking that's going to be giving like a carb. And then it's been, I just, girl, that looks very carby with a big old piece of bread. I mean, just the texture, I'm just feeling carb. So it's a plate of carbs being scooped with carb. There's no real vegetables there making up most of your plate. It's just carbs. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Your poor I'm pancreas. A place where there's oh, so much processed food. pancreas. Like even in the poor grocery kidneys. stores here, you won't find highly processed packaged foods. Mm. Just in your house, hey? <laughs> Shouldn't tell. Canned meals. There's canned vegetables, sure. Mm. Well, see, that's because you call yourself the housewife who doesn't cook, and then you bring in pickles. <laughs> and I don't can't remember the other sort of snack foods that you purchased for your non-cooking haul. Oh, I know it had cheese in there. Some cheese. This is made with boneless um, chicken, but you can also make it with boneless meat, which is very popular. Just tearing through that bread. Just got another piece in the kitchen. At least but three. I can eat this like every day. Oh, I'm sure. It's all carbs. It's super affordable. Like for a huge bag of this fresh bread, there's a place that just makes bread in like a big oven. Um, I don't like a big bread oven. And they just pump out bread. And uh, it's 100 fills for a big bag of like five or six breads that are like this big. 
and they're non-processed. Like I said, the wheat germ is still intact. You can see it. And it's a uh, hundred fills, which is for, like about 45 cents, I think. So it's, um, it's very affordable. This not, if it takes out your pancreas, <laughs> then it would be very expensive. Just Chantel, this is just, you're convincing yourself. You are using language to persuade yourself. This is okay. It's not a problem. You're bargaining with yourself about how this is a better choice at this time, how this isn't going to be an issue, how this type of takeout food is healthy. It's not going to impact you then. Just I'm just looking at all these carbs that you're scooping up with the carb. So, no, not a good choice, really. For a container like this, each. not for your diabetes. And one container like this will last me three meals. Hmm. Um, is 400 fills each. So, that's about a dollar fifty. How much? A dollar thirty American. Mess up your Canadian. <laughs> So mm, yeah. your, I thought it would be cool to show you like oh, girl. some kind of, you know, I always talk about how the food is cheap and there's like, you know, a lot of ethnic food. That's so good. Mm, not good for your diabetes type two. Cool. Not good for that. I get excited about You've seen me get excited about unhealthy takeout. And this is why, Chantel, you need to get some help beyond whatever you're trying to read off of Google. And just getting medications from a doctor in Kuwait who is not managing really your diabetes type 2. He thinks you have a doctor at home. So that's why you have to go to different clinics because otherwise they'll be trying to figure out why you keep going to the same places. But I would think and suspect that you're needing to speak to somebody about managing more your cravings, your desires, your rationalizing why this food is so much of a better option. When in reality, you know it's not. You know that it's not what's going to take care of you taking care of your type 2 diabetes, that you need a complete diet overhaul and, and eating this bed sheet size piece of bread and using that carb to scoop up this carb over with, with this that looks like it's become a carb now too. It's just, well, I think it's supposed to be a protein. It is, it's just not a good plan. And you can let everybody know that you're going to get three meals, but three meals you're about to eat in one. So it's just not even something that you are being able to manage. And already it's not even been a week and you had a bad event with your health. You have since started to feel better. You've started to take some medication and now you're back down on this train wreck again. It's just a cycle, Chantel, and you're going to be in a mess again, and you're not going to make that Egypt trip that you spent, like, four hours talking about in a live today. But I also get excited about healthy, real, unprocessed food. That tastes like comfort food. I love it. One more pickle. <laughs> She's in for the pickles, man. Oh, my goodness. If you love spinach, you're going to love that. You're going to love the ash. If you love beans, lentils, see the lentils and beans. Turmeric, anti-inflammatory turmeric. <laughs> uh, there is Chantel again 
rationalizing that there's turmeric in this, therefore this food is healthy, it's good for her. Whereas I'm seeing it's probably potentially a lot of carbohydrates and not necessarily what would be recommended, maybe a little tiny spoonful of that, but none of that bread, you know, and you need a lot more vegetables in here, like just like steamed vegetables, maybe a little asparagus. I don't know, girl, find something. Not this. And all those bananas don't even stop me. You know, food is... It's so rich in culture, you know? And it really interests me, like, the different foods they have in different countries. You're never going to manage your problems with food. And I'm calling them problems unless you stop obsessing about it. Every conversation you have is around food somehow. You need to find other topics of interest that don't involve food. Your whole channel, everything, your name, everything, unfortunately, is the thing that's going to be your downfall, Chantal. Because usually, again, again, there's so much culture surrounding it. Oh, God. That platter is so big. That's why the portions look so small. And you can learn so much. You used all that, that bread. And oh, my Lord. Girl. Ugh. Swollen yeah. the eyes. Like, oh, in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, so every time. I'm so excited. My goodness. Thank God for good food. Ugh, yeah, because <laughs> otherwise you'd have to cook. Mm, girl. Pitiful. You need some real serious assistance for your health. I usually freeze the leftover bread, mm -hmm. but it's very fresh. So, it, you know, if you don't freeze it, it'll never be the same. There's no preservatives, right? When you buy um, loaves of bread, like uh, Wonder Bread, that, that can last for a long time. <laughs> it's like weird how long it can last. But if you have fresh bread with no preservatives, you can tell because it goes hard the next All right. As a type 2 diabetic, you you really do know that you're baiting everybody with the fact that you're going on about bread. Because everybody knows it's the one thing you need to back off a little bit from. Or you certainly need to have a lot more energy burning in order to burn up the carbohydrates, therefore sugar, from bread. You will need to be an active person to be able to have bread of any type of amount. You should not even be near the bread because you already had the chickpeas for carbs. But you just don't see. I think you're baiting people. Are you not? You're just, well, you're just flagrantly not caring about your pancreas. It's probably both. Stay. So you have so to really much. preserve the bread. So, but it's never the same as when it's fresh, fresh. <laughs> right out of the oven. It's like there's just, just a small building that just does bread and you just see people lining up. So, and for 45 cents for a bag, you can't beat that. You can't. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share with you this wonderful meal. If there's... I think in terms of your health, Chantel, it, it can't be beaten. This dollar 45 cent bag of bread and how many pieces, there's nothing you should be consuming. Your genument is not going to survive this. You have rationalized, I'm thinking, in your mind that you have, like, uh, oh, taking the meditations, I'm taking them consistently, therefore, I can eat as much carbs as I want, and I can obsess about bread and eat pickles and snacks and nothing to the size of those bananas, my goodness, girl, uh, just a lot of just blatant just not caring, not caring at all. <laughs> any of you for, who are from Kuwait and want me to try any kind of restaurant, <laughs> any kind of um, different cuisine, it's it's very multicultural here when it comes to food. Oh my and I'll tell you, no. the majority so far that I've seen, um, there's... That's the last thing you need to be just focusing on is food content. It seems that is probably not the direction 
your content needs to be taking for this time. I think you just need to just to just maybe rethink that plan, Chantel. Just rethink that, foodie. Afghani food. Um, this restaurant's run by an Afghani person, um, Kuwaiti. Gulf country food, you know, um, Saudi Arabian. Uh, there's a huge Indian population here, so there's a lot of Indian re uh, run restaurants, Indian restaurants. Um, there's a huge Filipino um, population, so there's a lot of Filipino food. I got to take you guys to the, the Filipino areas where there's restaurants and things. It's, um, there's a lot of, I, I've never tried like authentic Filipino food oh, before. So. Okay. I guess about a week ago, we want a black screen and having a hyperglycemic event. Now we're just going to be, you know, back to being a restaurant critic for Yelp again. Okay. So, there's a lot of Persian food. Ira um, <laughs> Iranian. <laughs> there's so many places. And I have to tell you, um, they make the best kebab i swear it's so delicious and there's a lot of syrian restaurants um in my opinion they make the best shawarma and i love the makluba <laughs> there's uh, a lot of lebanese food okay so there's just like it's just very multicultural so they do have a huge western influence as well mm. um they have a lot of restaurants like you know they have texas roadhouse they have um, a Chili's, oh. they just have a ton of American restaurants. Um, but what interests me the most is the more ethnic food, you know, the more homemade food. So that's, that's, uh, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. I mean, I've had burgers and fries for days when I was in Canada, you know, I could, whatever, you can always get a burger, but you can't always have Jerish unless you're in the Middle East or you find like a niche restaurant somewhere, you know, but yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you found this video a bit interesting um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm, goodness me. I think not interesting at all. I think very <laughs> frightening to see that she is still wanting to be so surrounded and buy food and take her content to restaurants and food districts. So I guess that's to hell with di two diabetes now. I mean, how long is she going to start when she is no longer taking her medication consistently? <sighs> I feel like we're, we're due for another black screen event sooner rather than later, but she's planning a trip to Egypt, I understand. But anyway... I'm going to get this uh, finished up because the weather in Virginia Beach is gone insane as far as the rain. And uh, like I said, I live near this uh, military air base and the jets have just come in like insanity. So if I'm rolling my eyes, it's probably a cross between the wild things that Foodie was saying about food again. And uh, the noise above my head. So anyway, if you did like this type of content, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. And uh, I did want to thank all the people who support this channel. Thank you, guys. I can't do it without you. You are appreciated. And I hope that you enjoy this member exclusive content first. All right. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye.